Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and I'm here today with kind of a unique video. It's actually going to be a video talking about a question that I get very, very frequently and it's kind of a hard question for me to answer over and over again. So I thought I'd just make like a whole video about it that way everyone can know and I can just direct everyone to this video whenever they ask me about it. If you can't already tell from the title, the topic of this video is going to be my own business that I have and how to start a business or start a clothing line or or whatever you want to call it um, what I do is on a pretty small scale I mean I'm proud of custom thrift I like what I'm doing with it so far I definitely want to do more with it and I definitely wish I had time to do more with it right now um, so it's still a very small business it's just basically run by me and only me um, I'm very self-taught with a lot of things so it's not like I'm running some multi-million dollar business with an actual storefront or anything like that it's just an online recycled clothing boutique um, but I'm happy with it and a lot of people seem to be impressed by it or interested in it and want to do something similar and a lot of you guys email me or leave comments asking me you know how can I start my own business how did you do this how did you do that and any advice for me if I am trying to do what you're doing and there's probably tons of advice I can give you I probably didn't even think of everything for this video because there's different bumps and obstacles that you are going to uniquely run into you might not have the same problems or the same ideas as everyone so there's different stuff but I can give you some basic overall advice if you're trying to do anything similar to what I do and just tell you what I've done from experience step number one and I really have to stress this is that lately I don't know if it's just kind of a trendy thing right now but it seems like a lot of people want to have a clothing line want to have a clothing store or any type of store that's fashion related they want to open up their own store which is all cool and all obviously I wanted to do that but a lot of times it seems like there's people who aren't really into the fashion that much or haven't really been on the fashion scene or doing anything fashion related all of a sudden they just want to open up a store and it seems like they're kind of lost and that might be because they didn't really have the passion for fashion like they may have thought they did or they're trying to pretend to have or whatever so don't just open up something fashion related if you are just trying to make money um, because in this industry or this business a lot of startups or the beginning stages or the small stages you're not going to make a whole bunch of money this isn't a get rich quick scheme you're not going to get rich quick off of this so if you're just trying to look for something to make money off of this probably really isn't your thing um, this is for people who are really into fashion really have a creative mind really have some ideas that they want to create um, stuff like that it's kind of also been bothering me on that same thing is that I see a lot of people opening up shops but they're only selling like typical wholesale items and what I mean by that is you'll see a lot of websites selling the same exact items and you're like I saw a shop selling that same two two piece club outfit and now this shop is selling it and now this shop is selling it and now this shop is selling it it's because there's these thing called wholesalers who are basically come from China kind of like Sammy or pretty much yeah like Sammy dress which is that website that I reviewed if you want to go watch my review video on Sammy dress it's like these companies in China or these stores in China or usually it's in Asia where you can get it like a lot of one item and it's cheap and you can buy it and you can sell it in your store for a higher price in order to make a profit profit off of it. And so there's like, it seems like there's a very limited list of these clothes that you can get from China to sell in your store. And so it's like everyone's just selling the same, like those bodycon dresses, those two piece outfits, uh, especially with shoes and stuff like that. All these little shops that are popping up, they're all selling the same exact items. 
at you know varying prices it's just kind of pointless it's like why would you open up a shop just to sell the same exact stuff that another shop is already selling and it's just obvious that you're just trying to make a profit like you didn't design those you didn't make those you just got them from china and you're just reselling them and it's just like what's the point like and nobody's gonna buy that stuff because we know about the wholesalers we're just gonna get it directly from the source and get get it for the cheapest price we're not gonna buy it from you so those types of shops where they just selling stuff from china i don't recommend it i don't think it's smart i don't get the point of it you're not gonna even make a lot of money off of trying to do that and it's just pointless in my opinion um what i do recommend is if you are trying to be a designer you are trying to make your own clothes or recycle your own clothes um there is definitely a market out for that because people love unique stuff like i said that stuff from china not unique at all you can see that stuff everywhere and don't get me wrong i have stuff from there but it's more fun when you can find clothes that are like one of a kind unique like no one's gonna have this it's a very small group of people who are going to be able to have this because it's handmade or something like that people love that kind of stuff because we love to be unique and stand out so if you have clothing that you can make that's unique there's only going to be like four or five of them ever made or even just one of them ever made like my store everything is one of a kind there's only one of each thing so if you buy something from my store you are literally literally going to be the only person in the entire world who can wear that because I only make one and I think the exclusivity of that people really like that um, so you should think about that for your store the flip side of that is sometimes people get mad at me because I only have one of each thing and a lot of people are fighting over it but I don't know I kind of like it I kind of think it's cool yeah definitely make your own designs design your own stuff be unique be original sell something that people are gonna like be like wow I've never seen that before or I've never seen it done that way before I want that because I want to be unique another thing is it's really important to make a user-friendly place where people can buy your clothes. It's really confusing when people are just like, oh yeah, I'm selling stuff, but I'm just gonna show it on Instagram and then have people ask me if they want it and because I don't really have a website or I don't really have... It's like, it's hard to place an order when you don't have an actual website or anything like that. Because um, I see people, they're trying to open up shop on Instagram and it's like Instagram is not a shopping place you need to make an actual website it's very very simple to make a website for your store there's plenty of web hosting websites that you can go on and create your own website for example I use a site called store envy and I'll put the links and everything down below but store envy is just a website where anybody can go on there for free and create their own store and it lets you change the colors and all that kind of stuff and you just upload images of your items type in the description the shopping cart and everything like that is already set up for you people pay through PayPal you get your money it's just it's very very user friendly if you just read the instructions do the little tutorial that they offer you it's pretty user friendly it's very easy to use if you want to get some like professional options on store envy it does cost extra but the little basic package is free if you just want to start off with the free website um, I have the professional package but yeah you don't need that um, there's other sites like that like big cartel is another site like store envy and then um, there's other sites too but I think store envy and big cartel are probably two of the main websites that you can go on if you want to make your own store website and I can't stress this enough once you make a website please make sure that your website looks legitimate it needs to look legit or else people are not going to want to order anything from you because they're going to go on your website and they're going to say this doesn't look professional this doesn't look right i don't really trust it i don't want to risk it you know you go on forever21.com it looks legit it's like this is forever21.com like i trust this website i know i can order from them it's very easy to use all the pictures are very clear clean they have zoomed in versions and like just kind of you can look at actual clothing stores websites like forever21.com or gojane.com or whatever website you usually shop on look at their website get some ideas of how a clothing website is supposed to look and incorporate some of those features onto your website it's not that hard take pictures 
with a reasonably nice camera. It does You can take pictures with your iPhone and it will be good quality because iPhones these days shoot really good pictures. You can just take pictures, but make sure it has good lighting. Make sure you can actually see the clothes. Make sure it doesn't look like you just snapped this with a Nokia phone or something like that people aren't gonna be able to really see your products very well. It's just not gonna be a good situation. So make sure your pictures look professional. Make sure your images, like your graphics, if you have any type of header or little pictures or little images on your website, make sure those look nice. You know, make sure you spell everything right. Make sure you use proper punctuation and stuff like that. You just want it to look professional, clean, put together like you know what you're talking about like you know what you're doing because no one wants to order anything from some ratchet website that looks like a 12 year old made it and if you're confused on how to get your site to look professional you're like oh i can't figure this out i don't know how to make a header i don't know how to you know edit photos or anything like that go on YouTube and search for tutorials. YouTube has tutorials not only for hair and makeup, but for stuff on the internet too. I figured out how to do a whole bunch of stuff just by YouTubing it. And from editing photos to just anything that has to do with building a website, you can find that stuff out on YouTube. Okay, now you have unique items that you've made. You have your ideas. You make your ideas. They're nicely made and everything. Now you have a place where you can sell them because you made your website. Your website looks great. That's awesome. Now it comes to actually selling your items. Who are you going to sell them to? Who's going to buy them? Who even knows about your website? How are people going to know that you have a website? How are people going to know that you even have a store? Well, obviously, you promote it on social networking. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest. I don't know. Any, any website you can sign up on, promote your store, post images of you know, stuff that you're selling. Hey, I'm selling this, it costs this much. Or post pictures of, even better, is posting pictures of people actually wearing your stuff because that gives a better idea of how it looks like. So if you wanna model some of your stuff or get some of your friends to model some of your stuff, take some cute pictures of them. Like I said, good lighting, not crappy quality. Um, and then post those and put your little logo on the photo or something like that. Just something interesting to look at, but also tells people that you have a store. If you just post a thing that says, hey, I have a store, people are just going to scroll past that. They're not even going to take the time to read that. You need to post something that's going to catch their eye like, oh, this is a really cute picture. And then they're going to see, oh, this is a store. Oh, I want to check that out. And then you click on it. Um, I think people forget that, that you have to post interesting stuff or else no one's going to pay attention. So make sure you promote your store like all the time on all your social networking. Tell your friends, tell your family. If like for me, a lot of times, like for example, I made this shirt. I'm walking around at school and somebody at school is like, hey, where'd you get that shirt? And I'm like, oh, I made it. By the way, I have a website if you want to check it out. You just got to keep it in mind and like let people know. And it helps if you already have followers, like if you have a thousand followers on Instagram, Instagram, boom, there's a thousand people that you can easily post something on Instagram and you just told a thousand people about your store. So you gotta think about it that way too. There's things that you can get involved in like at your school or at your church or anything like that where you can kind of insert the name of your store, like just put yourself out there. That's really good. Go to networking events, go to fashion shows, go to stuff in your city where there's gonna be fashion people and Talk about your store, get people to know about it, get people to know who you are, what you are, what you do, what you have, what you sell. Just find a way to meet more and more people because those are going to be more and more customers. Now you've promoted your store. So you got your idea, you got your pieces, you got your website, you're promoting your website. Okay, so now you're actually selling stuff. So when you sell stuff, you want to make sure that you handle shipping professionally as well. Um, don't charge too much for shipping because people are gonna know like $15 for shipping that's way too much I'm not gonna pay that you have to actually go in calculate how much the shipping is actually going to be and charge shipping accordingly I have $5 flat rate shipping because usually it costs me around five dollars to ship stuff so i just put it as five dollars but you based on where you live and who you're going to be shipping to and are you going to ship internationally and stuff like that you actually do have to do the math on that and see how much it's going to be so you can charge shipping accordingly when you do ship your items um try to use something 
something kind of professional in packaging. Sometimes I have to be honest, I'm kind of lacking with my packaging because I'm kind of sometimes in a rush to get the stuff sent out so I don't get to wrap it up like I want to. Um, but that is something that I'm going to be trying to change pretty soon because it's important to have cute packaging. You know, you want to insert their invoice, which is a piece of paper that tells them what they bought and kind of like a receipt. If you want to insert put a business card in there. Um, if you want to wrap it up in tissue paper, tape it up really nice, fold it up really nice, whatever the case may be, just try to make it look as professional as you can. It's as easy as typing something up on Microsoft Word, a little thank you note. Like I put thank you notes in my packages a lot where like I type out something. Thank you for ordering from Custom Thrift. Hope you enjoy your pieces. Um, please, you know, give them little hints and like, for example, for my stuff, it's like hand wash only. So I'll put, you know, hand wash only da, 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 and it'll be like a little paper that I can slip in with their package and just look really cute and stuff like that. You can use cute fonts, cute colored paper and stuff like that. Just so that when somebody gets their package, they're like, oh, this is so nice. Da, 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 da. Like I said, other minute details about, well, how does PayPal work? How does Store Envy work? How do these websites work? How do I do this on this website? You don't have to ask me because there's usually a help page on websites where they tell you this is how you work this website or there's usually tutorials on YouTube or if you just Google it or just look it up like literally just Google it. That's pretty much all the advice I can give for right now I think. Um, if you guys have any other specific questions um, definitely leave comments down below. Um, I prefer if you don't use my business email to ask personal questions because it kind of messes up like I'm trying to do business and then it's like personal questions and it just gets mixed up um, but if you guys leave comments on my video I definitely will answer them if any of you guys are starting a business soon hopefully some of this advice helped you and good luck to you and email me and let me know if you have some pieces that you want to send me for promotional purposes like for example these bracelets that I'm wearing are from exquisite jewels and I'll put the link down below for the girls website so if you want to do that same thing if you want to send me something email me about it I'll put my email down below so I think that's pretty much it I will see you guys in my next video bye PPS this hair is from princess hair shop um, I don't know if I'm gonna post this video before or after my hair video probably before but there is going to be a video all about this hair and oh yeah I made this little crop top t-shirt it's just a t-shirt that I got and then I painted it with a little Chanel thingy I made a video about this on my old channel so go on the Ray baby show and you'll see the tutorial for how to make this t-shirt and um, I think that's it Follow me on Instagram because it's awesome and I post on Instagram all the time. And what else? What else? I'm just trying to like insert everything I could possibly say. Don't want to forget anything. Peace. <laughs> That's gonna be my new outro. What if I do that every time? Y'all gonna hate me. Ugh.